We talked about tapers, taper per foot, um, angles, using your compound and adjusting it to match something. Well, if you have a sample of what you want to match, the simplest way is just put it in the lathe. Put it in the lathe and then put your indicator on here and match that angle. It makes it real simple. If you have something like this and you want to match the angle, the ideal thing is you get it so it runs true here and here in two points so that you know you're true. But a little trick you could do if it was running true at this point, which we wouldn't get because we're in a three jaw here. This would be, well, we could still do it. We could do it with a three jaw. What we would do is we would run it, tap it so that it's true at this point because we're out from the chuck a little bit. Once we got it true at that point, then you come out here and you see where the run out is, rotate this around so it's in the middle of the run out. That will so that you're at that point, it would be the same for the angle as where you would be dialed in without having to actually dial it in. So here you'd ha have it at zero run out. Here you had plus, <coughs> plus five, and then it runs to zero. So you turn this around so it's at two and a half. Or if it was zero to nine, I like nine, no. zero to 12. If it ran zero to 12, then you turn it around so it was at six. Halfway on your indicator movement will get you so you're in the right line for dialing in your angle without having to fuss around and actually get it fully dialed in.